So, you're looking to get unlimited Google Maps data for free? Well, you've come to the right place. I'm gonna show you my brand new tool that I built that allows me and now you to scrape unlimited Google Maps data for absolutely free. There's no cost, no strings attached, and I'm gonna show you it right now. Hello guys, I'm Mike, and I talk about all things AI and automations to help you supercharge your business. Before I hop into it, if you wanna work with me in any kind of AI or automations project, Project, make sure to book a time down in the description below. Real quick note about that. I'm focusing super heavy into AI phone bots. If you've seen one of my most recent videos, I put together an AI phone booking bot. You can check it out after this video. But I'm looking for five new people to basically beta test and develop brand new bots with me for their business. So if this is something that interests you, make sure to book a time and we can talk about it more then. But anyway, enough yapping, let's get into it. So down in the description, below, I'm going to have a link to scrapetable.hrznlabs.com. And this is a little web app that I built out part of my consulting page to help you get unlimited Google Maps data for free in seconds. So you come on over to this page right here and there's a little bit on how it works, just kind of documenting everything here. If not, you could just watch this video and I'll show you how to use it. But there's two different ways we can add links in order to get data from Google Maps. The first one is we can use the Maps button right here. If I click on the maps button, you'll see I'm brought to this map view right here, which allows me to just kind of search around and click on Google Maps locations. And this will be how we input in our data. So we're gonna basically scrape this URL for any Google Maps data. I can just set this URL by clicking on save URL and that will save our URL based on this search right here. But we can also use the add links button here if we wanna add in our own links from Google Maps directly. Heading on over to Google Maps, type typing in whatever you want, and then copying the URL up here. It's gonna be the same exact URL as the ones we're gonna be putting in scrape table. So I'll come over to add links here and I'll just come in and add my link. You can either input links like this or by using the map here. Now I do wanna mention if you are gonna be using the maps feature, make sure you have your location enabled. This only works by using your location. And if you're on Chrome and you're not seeing anything, make sure to come up here to the little toggle menu, make sure your location is turned on right here. It'll ask you right when you join the site to give your location. So just make sure you click allow if you want to use the maps feature. So now we have all that out of the way. All we have to do is just kind of scroll around here and we can add up to five URLs to search. So I'm going to input this Miami URL and then I'm also going to kind of go up the coast of Florida here. Just kind of add some more locations for our search. So now I have five URLs. If I don't like these URLs, I can always just remove them, but I'm gonna keep these five for now. And that's all we need in terms of our searches. Then we just have to enter in our keywords. So for instance, I'm just gonna go with hotels. It'll tell us that we're about to scrape five URLs and then we just click on search. And after about maybe 15 seconds to a minute, it's gonna give us our search results that we can download and open in either a CSV, Excel, or JSON. In the meantime, if you're liking Scrape Table, consider donating. It's a completely free tool. You can use as many times as you like and it will give you a ton of great information for whatever you're doing. So after about 30, 40 seconds, we got 248 businesses for the hotel keyword right here. Click on download. We get that JSON CSV or Excel. I'll click on Excel and I'll download this. I'll open it up and you'll notice we get a ton of great information based on our searches here. See, we get the business ID, the phone number, the name. So we have the name of all the hotels in Miami and all the adjacent locations. You see we have the Miami right here for the first search. Then we also have the other ones like Hollywood and West Palm Beach right here. We also have things like the latitude, longitude, the review count, the rating, the time zone, the website for each of the hotels right here, the place ID, the place links. So if we wanna see the actual location on Google, we can just hop it in right here and we can see the exact hotel. And then also the types. So if there's any keywords associated with the business, they'll be right here. And then there's also supposed to be pricing levels if it's like a restaurant, for instance, and then also the schedule. As this is hotels, they have a pretty much 24 hour policy. So there's not really a need to add in the schedule here. Also the 
city, if the business is verified, and any state information if it exists. But yeah, you can download this in whatever kind of format you want and use it for whatever you want, pretty much. And I, I get a lot of questions asking about where are the emails. You can't actually scrape any emails off of Google Maps. You have to actually go inside of the business URLs here and then find the emails through that method. Google Maps does not publicly display any information regarding emails. So that's kind of the one unfortunate downside of this. But if you're doing any kind of cold calling or you just want some great information on local businesses based on a keyword, this is gonna be your tool. So let's try some other keywords here. So I'm gonna keep the same searches. Obviously, you could put in as many different URLs as you like, up to five. And let's just test it out with like fast food. And there we go. We got 510 businesses with keyword fast food. I wanna once again download this as a, an Excel file, but you can also pick CSV or JSON. And look at that. We get all the good information. We got all your favorites from McDonald's to Wendy's, Taco Bell. There's also the phone numbers right here if you wanna call them. Same thing with the addresses, the full addresses. Once again, longitude and latitude, the review count and the ratings. Looks like everyone here gives like an average of like a three and a half star. Same thing with the website ID, same thing with the place ID and the place link. So I can copy this and throw it in here and we get the exact location of that particular fast food chain. Same thing with the types. So we have all of the keywords here, depending on what kind of business it is. And then also the price level. So that's the little dollar sign right next to the business here. So it'll put it right there as well as all the hours for each of the days. Same thing with the city, whether it's verified and the current state of the business, whether it's open, or closed and all that good stuff. And yeah, if we scroll all the way to the bottom here, we should have our total 511 rows for the one row for the title. So all 510 businesses right here. Awesome. Let's try a couple more searches. I'm just gonna go with plumbing. Let's see what we can come up with. Oh boy, we got 803 businesses. All right, nice. We got a lot more businesses here. Same thing, we got the phone numbers, the names here, the full addresses, the review count, the ratings, the websites right here. Here. So if you're doing any kind of SEO stuff or website design, you can come in here and easily see which businesses have a website and which ones don't. You can see that they're all from Florida here, which makes it really nice because you're already targeting a specific area. Let's try one more. Let's try dealerships. This will be interesting. Awesome. We got 737 businesses for keyword dealerships. I'll download this bad boy again and let's see the data. Oh man, we got it all here. Same thing business, phone, name, full address, and they're all for Florida too, which is awesome. Same thing with the latitude, longitude, the review count, the rating, the website IDs. Once again, you can see whether or not the business has a website. So if you're doing any kind of targeting like that, this is perfect. The types, so you can see right here if they're a used car or not. Looks like most dealerships are used car dealers. All the hours, the city, and the current status of the business. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Once again, if you wanna support me on this little project here, you can always donate and that would really, really help me out and keep this project going. Once again, I'll have a link down in the description below to where you can start it with Scrapetable. That's over on scrapetable.hrzandlabs.com. If you wanna learn more on how I put this together all using AI, you can check out this video here of my official release of Scrapetable. I basically wanna start this idea of Scrapetable as my own SaaS product, but after just a lot of back and forth, I ended up just releasing it for free. So you could check out that video where I go over how it all works. So you can see how I built this all with AI. So I'll see you guys over in that video.